Well, hello. I'm going to uh, review uh, the uh, radio set Army Navy uh, GRC 109. This is something I got off of uh, eBay yet again. Uh, this is a manual for it. Um, something you ought to see. For those who don't know, back in the uh, old days, uh, we used to have a war office instead of Department of Defense. Uh, There's a, uh, I think it was uh, Edward Bernays or something, propaganda type uh, media relations type guy, told the government, hey, let's not call it the War Department anymore, we'll call it Department of Defense. And so, ever since, they went with it. And so it's a little bit of a tongue, mind, trip, uh, trip a dipoli. If you know what I mean. Well, this is back when things uh, you said, you mean what you say and say what you mean. This is back before, this is back then. Not nowadays, where it's the Department of Defense. What the heck? So, anyway, there's a little history. So, anyway, this is the uh, ANGRC 109. As I understand, the uh, Special Forces got them initially, and then towards the end of the Vietnam War, everybody got them. Uh, basically, it's a shortwave receiver, and it also transmit transmits via Morse code. There's uh, three or four units. Uh, main difference is this one here. Uh, this is a big one I got. It has more functions. There's a it's a power supply basically. Um, there's this version, the smaller version. But look up this manual up on uh, up on the internet, and you can read all about it. This is a hard copy; it's good to have. It has more weight, than everything, but won't run out of batteries. There's a warning with this set. Uh, it talks about the uh, what was it? The the OB2 tube is a radioactive uh, containing tube, so beware of that. Um, in operation, that's coming apart. What would you expect? It's old. Uh, this is what you pretty much do. You'd set it up and uh, listen and do your da 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 on there if you needed to. That's SOS, I guess. I'm kind of anyway. So that's a that's a man that comes with it. Pretty interesting reading, I'll tell you. I, I read a lot of it. I need to keep reading, keep fresh on there. So. Uh, this is here is the I hope this is coming through good enough uh, it's a spare part set uh, there's various implements I'm not coming I'm not seeing the video on if this is coming through or not let's see there's various implements and things that connect it to the power supply uh, or a hand crank generator um, and like that uh, these are headphones that came with it. I think these are Garrison headphones, right? They're pretty uh, archaic. Um, and they had the tactical ones here. Uh, here's a. I can't read that. I can't even. That's the MX 240s, left and right side. The right side's all tore up. But anyway, there's a connector. So anyway, it had a ultra secret hearing deal where that would go in your ear canal, and it would really screen out a lot of the. Uh, I'm not saying it's ultra secret. It's probably just ultra quiet, right? Ultra quiet way to listen to things as things are going nuts around you. Over here, I talked with a veteran. He said, "Oh, that's wonderful. You had this, this." Uh, implement here they're rare and hard to get a hold of you got a new one it's basically a, a ground uh reel type deal as you would expect me like on fish for fishing line hold on here it comes on this, in this little pack you put on your your web belt which is great i think it was made for a different radio but anyway it was adapted for this it's a uh, spool of a uh, plastic coated uh reception wire and it's something you'd expect you know 
fishing line on it. But there's a there's a nomenclature for it. Um, appears brand new. No Nick Scripps bumpster gouges or aside from a little shelfware right there and, and and like that. So yeah, I haven't I haven't deployed this or tested this out or anything. Also came with this. Let's say uh, Morse code uh, uh, conveyance, right? Uh, key or I can't think of the terminology. Right, you know what I'm talking about. So I guess you attach that if you want an easier deal. Um, these uh, units themselves, they come in uh, easily easily transportable uh, units. Uh, uh, I guess compared to the the ANGRC uh, nine, the Angry Nine, this is a lighter way to do things. Um, it's adapt. It's an adapted set from I guess something the CIA had. So, but it's been Army rugified. So this stuff is heavy. I'm telling you, especially this unit here. Goodness sakes! I mean, that's about as heavy as a as a 240 Bravo by itself. I'm telling you, that's a heavy heavy metal. But I guess these were sealed here. Uh, uh, against the elements, so you could bury them and whatnot, and conceal them in four oper operating uh, elements and things like that, and you'd be good to go. And then I guess you could divide the uh, the weight over the squad, so there wasn't just one guy humping all this. And they were meant to be radios to be used in place, not to be on the fly. So anyway. So you have mass, massive uh, uh, durability uh, with offset of trans transportability that's not very good. So anyway, these are heavy duty hasp hinges. I'm going to try to open these without killing my finger. They're so loaded, spring loaded, that it's uh, pretty heavy, heavy stuff to open. Hold on here. Good lord. You know, maybe I should store these without the spring tension on them, you know, maybe that would be uh, better for decades on storage so they're not under tension. Something to think about. So, uh, here you got, and, <laughs> yeah, it's all black, so you can't hardly really see it. Um, this is the, uh, This is a receiver. Well, crap. My YouTube video on this is going to be as crappy as a lot of those YouTube videos. Um, you can't hardly really see nothing on them. Darn it. So anyway, I'm just going to go over this quickly, what it looks like. looks like you attach the ground and the antenna there. That's your dial. Um... These are crystal oscillators. Your gain. Uh, your battery off. Uh, your tuning. Um, maximum, minimum gain. I think you can kind of figure this out yourself too. Phones. Headphones. Right there is a bead off oscillation. I sound impressive. I don't know what bead oscillation is offhand. I have to study that more. So that's your receiver. Lord, I gotta hold on. This is a two handed hasp. Wow. It's got that electronic smell. My, uh, or that tube smell. Smell that smell in a lot of old electronics. I like it. I don't know if it's good for you, though. It might be like smelling gasoline or diesel. Um,. So anyway, uh, here we go. Break up my flashlight. So this is your. Uh, hmm. I think this is your transmitter because obviously it's got the Morse code. Did that? Did that? Key there. So this this lets you uh, transmit. Uh-oh, my video's going in here. Hold on, we'll do part two.